Hey, what is going on guys? So today I have a review for you for a vacuum cooler. These are for your laptops and this does work. I've done numerous testing on here and what I'm gonna do in this review, I'm gonna do a live test as well. Now you have two modes on this. You can do automatic or you can do manual. And let me show you the components that it comes with first and then we're gonna do some testing here. So here is the vacuum cooler itself. And you get this plate here, you basically gotta just pop this plate on. You just pop this bottom plate on like this. Move it up and then this is the lip that goes under your vent. Now you do get like five vent covers like this here and they're all in different colors and the reason why you get five of them because each one is a little bit different size. You, have, you basically have to look at your um, vent on your laptop and see which one fits the best. For me it's this blue one right here. And also of course you get a power cord here. If you look on here you can go ahead and plug this in here and you get one of these vent covers and you pop this around this lip here and what this will basically do it'll vacuum or suck air from your computer through here and out here and of course you get a manual here as well as you get a another charging cable here with a wall adapter if you didn't have a USB plug that's available on your computer then you can just plug it into a wall outlet and this cable here is actually a little bit longer than this one here but I have an open USB port that works fine on my computer so I'm just gonna plug this in right in here now before we start the test here I just want to show you my laptop here okay now this is a Acer Asus I think this is a what is this this is a 5251 model here Aspire and I have the vents right here now the thing is when I originally got this I wanted to test it on my other laptop the thing is it doesn't have the vents anywhere on the side sometimes it'll be on the back as well there's nothing on the back this laptop here only has it on the bottom so I'm not able to use this vacuum suction on this one here I have to actually use a cooler pad that sits the whole thing sits below it so let me go ahead and open up my laptop here let me hook everything up and what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to run my computer hot as possible. I'm going to go ahead and render um, some videos in my video editing program at 4K. This will jack up the CPU temperature. And also one thing to note, if you guys have a computer that's getting hot, typically the first thing you want to do is open the back of your laptop up and look inside there. Because a lot of times what will happen is your fan, your actual fan could be faulty. Your heat sink sometimes is not properly in place. Or if you have a lot of dust buildup, debris inside your computer that will cause your computer to heat up very fast as well. So let me go ahead and plug this into a USB port here. And I have everything plugged in here. And now what I simply do, you see this lip here, I just have to basically place it where it's nice and snug here. Give it a little bit of pressure so it's actually in here. Now let me just line that up just like that. Even if it's off a little bit, it's still like, it's, it's not gonna affect it like too much. Even if the vent is out like a little bit more on the side here, that shouldn't be a problem. Let me go ahead and power this up. And while this is booting up here, you can see we have a manual and we also have automatic mode on here. And manual mode, let me go up to the highest level, level five. And what this is doing is, I can feel the suction bring it in here and air is coming out of here. All right, so my computer is up right now, and now what I'm gonna do is render a 4K video and run my antivirus software. Okay, so right now, this is I'm not gonna be using this. I'm just gonna lay this right here. And I'm using a core temp here. We can see that the temperature, I only have one core in this uh, laptop here, but right now we're running at 66 degrees Celsius. The TJ Maxx here says 97 degrees Celsius, and if my computer gets anywhere near that, it's basically overheating, okay? All right, so I'm rendering a 4K video here. You can see that the uh, CPU degrees right now is at 68 degrees Celsius. And I'm also gonna go ahead and run my antivirus software here as well. So we can increase the temperature even more. So give us a second. Let's go ahead and wait for this to get the temperature quite high. All right, so after about a few minutes, we can see that the temperature is running at 77 degrees Celsius right now. So far, that is the max. Now let's do this. Let me go ahead and grab this vacuum cooler and let me go ahead and put this on the vent here. Okay, so we have it on, it's at 78 degrees Celsius right now. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on and I'm just gonna put this on the max. I'm just gonna put this on the max using manual mode here. 
And we're going to see, I've done this test like numerous times, we're going to see this percentage drop dramatically, okay? So it's still heating up. It's at 79 degrees Celsius now. Let me go ahead and turn this on. All right, I got on level 5. It's at 78 degrees Celsius right now. Now we're going to give this a few minutes, and hopefully it's going to drop 8 to 10 degrees Celsius. We'll see. Okay, so this is running for a few minutes now. We can see it went from 78 degrees Celsius and now it's down to 69 degrees Celsius. And okay, now it's at 68. So from my experience, it's basically always decreasing the temperature between eight to 10 degrees. Right now it's at 67 degrees uh, Celsius. But we started at 78 degrees. So now let me do this now. Let me go ahead and just pull this off. Let me just take this off and let's watch it increase again. Okay, so it's been running for about uh, two or three minutes now, and now we're back at 77 degrees Celsius. I think last time it was up to 78. It may go up like another degree higher, but let's go ahead and do this now. So we're back at 77 degrees Celsius. Let's go ahead and plug this back into here, and I'm going to place this right under the vent here. And that's rock and roll. So it's been a couple of minutes now and it's down to 69 degrees Celsius. So obviously this is a good cooling system for your computer, but remember you guys have to have the a vent somewhere like on the sides or even on the rear. And that's pretty much it for this review. And we can see that the it's increasing right now. Now it's back up to 70 degrees, 71 degrees Celsius. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.